So this is a quick video about the continued development of this copter. Um, I'll show you a video taken from it. Uh, it's a bit of a, it was a bit of a dull day, but basically uh, take a look at the vibrations. Um, this, this has not had any post-processing, so it's like straight off the camera. Um, I think you'll agree it's not so bad considering it's uh, zoomed in uh, for most of the video, zoomed in at 50 mil. Uh, then there's another video uh, taken of the drone in the hover and you can see the, the shake on this gimbal. Um, it's not too bad, it's a continued development um, and it's basically uh, I'm making some suggestions to myself and I'd, I'd also uh, welcome if there's any, any people who, are, who are consider themselves experts on this subject or any advice really for or continued improvement of the uh, the smoothness of the of the video. Okay, thanks. Here we go. Okay, so you've seen the video of the uh, vibrations from uh, this uh, this setup. Um, I'm thinking it's not so bad really, especially as most of the video was taken on a on a 50 mil zoom, and uh, it's perfectly fine with uh, photos. There's there's no obvious shape visible with photos, but um, there it's it's not great for uh, for video as as you've seen. Um, this is probably the th third different arrangement I've made for um, suspending the gimbal. Um, some gentlemen may recognise uh, these uh, silicon rings, um, the rest of you I'll, I'll leave it to your imagination. It's, it's um, quite a low frequency, uh, fairly well damped uh, oscillation that you get. And as you've seen in the, in the airborne uh, video, it's, it, is, it is doing this as the copter tries to keep its position in a, in a bit of a breeze. So basically I'm uh, I'm still looking around for how to Im improve this. Um, I've tried stiffer mounts. Uh, this is one of the one of the more flexible ones that I've tried. It's probably uh, completely reduced the jello. There's there's no jello effect however there is a little bit of um, sort of horizon horizon shaking uh, etc which can be taken out in post processing but It'd be better if it wasn't there for sure. Um, you, you haven't got the entire inertia of the gimbal because it is it is like self self centering. So uh, uh, yeah, that's the effect. So the next thing I was thinking of trying, I've got some uh, silver thing washers here. There's basically a pile of uh, three of them. Got uh, four sets of those. So I was considering inserting them somewhere in here to push the uh, to push the gimbal down a little bit and uh, stiffen it up. Um, I'll just pop those in now uh, and you'll see in a moment the difference. Okay so I've just uh, shoved these sort of thing washers in in like a temporary kind of fashion in there um, and it's no surprise that it's kind of stiffened up the whole lot. The uh, frequency is quite a bit higher. It's probably probably uh, half the period um, and it's much more damped. However, it's pretty much similar to a system I had before that was there was a stiffer arrangement, so I'm not convinced that would do anything. 
if I reprinted these with um, better facilities to hold these sort of thing washers in place it would be well that might be worth trying but anyway I'm open to suggestions although I have made quite a number of uh, successful copters uh, of copters that have been really low in vibration they have been a lot larger than this one so I'm basically trying to get a get a uh, Sony 5000 sized camera on the smallest rig that I possibly can. It's no surprise that I'm getting vibration problems. However, if there's anybody out there as an expert in these things, I'm open to advice. Uh, this is this is a commercial setup, Auto Evo. Uh, just as an example, the, uh, the rigidness of the mount. It's kind of I would say it's a similar, considering the size. It's not very well balanced, is it? But, but but this thing actually produces um, produces fine video. However, it's not nearly as, as zoomed in as this one. So this is this is quite wide angle. So you wouldn't expect uh, small vibrations to notice on this at all. Anyway, like I said, open to suggestions. If somebody can uh, can advise, do I need a stiffer mount or a more Flexible mount. I've, I've tried uh, copter tuning, uh, detuning, getting it really sloppy so it's not reacting to every little gust. Um, and I've tried uh, sort of more rigid tuning. Um, nothing much is the magic answer, so uh, as I say, open to suggestions. Thanks very much.